Hello and good afternoon, morning, midnight, wee hour. I pray all is well with you guys. Hello, this is Rayma Unlock Ministries. And if you have reached this video, you have reached my ministry page. And oh, I'm so excited for you to join the YouTube family. I'm super excited about the journey that we're going to have together as I continue to grow in ministry. And even as you continue to grow as a son and daughter of the Most High God. So let's link arms together and let's continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ and let's soar like eagles. So this is Rama Unlock Ministries. I see you on the other side. Hello, children of God. How are you guys? I pray all is well with you guys today. So while I have you guys really, really quick, what I want to get into today is detoured for your destination. Detoured for your destination. See, children of God, sometimes in life, we want to take a different de a different direction and where God is actually calling us to or where God is actually appointing us to. So see, sometimes the detour in your life didn't mean delayed. The detour in your life doesn't mean denied. The detour in your life doesn't necessarily mean rejected. But see, there's things that God has to do to navigate you to get to the place that he has called you to. And oftentimes, children of God, we want to take our own paths. We want to take our own journey. We want to begin to maneuver and go down different highways and different byways and different streets. But God is saying you detoured to your destination. So know that when the detour comes, it doesn't mean that God is taking you or the enemy is taking you. Let me just say this into a place that. So when we are walking with God and trusting God in certain seasons, of our lives, sometimes we can begin to go on detours that we just can't understand. And sometimes the detours can cause us to feel defeated. Sometimes the detours can cause us to feel discouraged. And so I wanna use this as an example for you guys today to look at this, look at the detour in this way. Do you remember that the detour is gonna take you to the final destination of where God is taking you to, called you to, appointed you to, or the kingdom assignments that he has for you in your life. So listen to this example. Now we know that when we are driving, we use the GPS uh, system. That way we can get the GPS system going. And so by us using the GPS system, the navigation system is now navigating and it's giving us a direction to where we're going so that we can meet the destination, so that we can get to the destination that we need to get, get to. And then sometimes, let's be honest here, back in the day we had MapQuest. Now we have this GPS system that's on our phones. And sometimes when we had MapQuest, it was quite challenging because we literally had to follow those exact directions that was on MapQuest to get somewhere, right? And even sometimes with the navigational system now, we still find that it can be a little challenging. You might turn here, it might turn too early. However, you're depending on the navigation system, the GPS system to navigate you and get you to the right destination. And so that's the same way with God. We have to depend on him and trust God and know that God is going to get us to our final destination. God is going to get us to the place that he wants us to be in because this is God's plan and his will and his purpose for our life is for him to keep us and to protect us, to guard and protect us, to continue to love on us, to direct us, to teach us. God is a teacher at heart. And I love that about our father that he teaches us and he takes us through certain lessons so that we can learn. But see, we have to understand this, that in that detour process, don't allow that detour process to mean that you are delayed. Don't Allow that detour process to make you doubt the season that God has you in. So remember that detour for the destination is not always a bad thing. So sometimes God is going to have you reroute because the way that you were going was not the way that he wanted you to go. The way you were being positioned was not the position that he had you, he wanted you to be in. So know that when you get detoured, sometimes you're getting rerouted, but God is rerouting you for a greater purpose, for a greater plan that he has on your life. So if you get rerouted, 
begin to seek the Lord and, and begin to go to him concerning what is going on so that you will know that, oh my gosh, I might be getting rerouted, but God has a destination for me. And so he's going to take me through this detour because now I got to go through this detour so that I can get to the destination because the path that I thought I was walking or the path that I thought I was traveling on or the streets that I thought I was driving on was not the exact place that God was calling me to. So now I'm detour. So know that your detour does not mean trouble. Your detour does not necessarily mean rejection. Your detour doesn't always mean bad. So know that you are detoured for the destination. Detoured for the destination. Okay. So remember that children of God, as you can continue to go through your processes of life, that even though you may go through a detour, even if you may go through a season and you're being rerouted and it feels like you're just being rerouted and rerouted, and rerouted, know that God has the best plan for your life and follow his plan because he has the best blueprint that will ever, ever, ever touch the earth realm. God has those plans because he knows the plans that he has for our lives. So I love you all. I'll see you guys soon. Shalom, shalom.